2015, woo, what a year, absolutely fantastic, The Force Awakens, all this other stuff, good video games, good TV shows, all this other stuff, such a, such a great year, I loved it, and I got some really cool stuff, um, unfortunately my favorite thing I got this year will not be showcased in this video, because this video is only showcasing things that were released this year, and my absolute favorite thing I got this year um, was released in 2011, and that was the, uh, the Sideshow Commander Cody. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to first show off the honorable mentions, because while I really do like these figures, they just, there's something about them, or there's just others that are better. Um, the Black Series Captain Rex, which I believe was released this year, if it wasn't, then I'm so sorry, but, yeah, this figure's really good. I love the sculpt, I love the detail on it. It's one of my favorite clone trooper figures of all time, but it's just there's so many other figures that it releases here that are so much better than it. And the Batman Arkham Knight Batman, which I do like this figure, was just completely tarnished by the absolute disappointment that was the actual video game. You know, oh, the Arkham Knight's a completely original character, da 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 da. It's just Jason Todd with an army. Jason! Jason! What are you doing? I thought you were dead. Jason! Jason! It's just so stupid. Didn't even have any cool boss fights. That was the low point of 2015. Absolutely just... Ugh. But... One of the high points was The Force Awakens. Actually, that was the high point. And this is an honorable mention. The Captain Phasma figure. Because while The Force Awakens itself was the highest point of this year, Captain Phasma certainly wasn't the highest point of The Force Awakens. She did nothing. Period. She just didn't do anything in the movie, and I like, when I see a figure, and I want to pose it, I want to pose it like it did something in the movie. This is what Captain Phasma did in the movie. Just this. I believe she also, oh, excuse me, I might be, I might be wrong. I think she also did this. Oh my god. So, yeah, <laughs> that figure's not too exciting. I'm hoping I like that thing a little more if she actually starts doing stuff in episode 8. So, getting on to the actual top 10, uh, number 10 goes to the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, Disney Store Exclusive Hulkbuster, because I love it. It's fantastic. It's, it's glorious. It's one of my favorite Marvel figures, period. It's just so nicely done. I love the articulation on it. The head's kind of hard to turn. Like, you sort of have to not push it down, and you sort of have to get it up with your fingernail to actually turn it. It's That's probably the worst part of the figure, but everything else is just fantastic. I love this thing. Um, now, I think I got it for a good price, too. I think I got it for under 20 bucks because for some reason it rang up for under 20 So, yeah, Disney Store Hulkbuster. I'm a huge fan of that. Number nine goes to uh, the DC Icons Batman because I like it a lot. And it does have some problems. I can't say this figure is perfect, because flat out this figure is not perfect. But it has a lot of good things to it. Uh, one of them is not the actual fact that it's going to focus. So I'm going to actually pause the video real quick to try to get it focused. There we go. You go to JCC2224 for quality content. Am I right or am I right? So yeah, this is, uh, this is a really good figure. I, I like it a lot. It's got a lot of great articulation. It doesn't have a thigh swivel, though, but I love the accessories. I love the design, and when I think of Batman, this is what I think of. This is Batman to me. I love it. And it fits in real nice with 6-inch figures, so that's another good part. Number, uh, what is it, number 8 goes to the Legends Shockwave from Combiner Wars, because this thing is just fantastic. Look at this gun mode. It's so perfect. And the robot mode, too, is just absolutely stunning. The transformation is real quick. I mean, you can get there in a couple seconds if you know how to do it. It's such a fun figure, and I just can't stop messing with this thing. I love it. It's my favorite Shockwave, period. It's my favorite Legends figure, period. It's just one of my favorite everythings, period. It's, it's such a great little figure, and it's so small, too. I mean, look at it next to my hand. It's, it's not a big figure, and that's my only point of contention with it. I wish it was bigger. <laughs> this toy is so fantastic, but I wish it was bigger. I understand why it's smaller, so the actual gun mode can be held by, like, combiners and other characters. But, ah, uh, come on, guys. I want to avoid your shockwave from my classic shelf. So that's number eight. Number seven goes to uh, my favorite Gundam figure of all time that I got this year. And that is the uh, high-grade Gundam V-Origin. I'm trying to get him reposed because he sort of got out of his pose. 
Char's Zaku 2. This thing is fantastic. For some reason, my camera makes it pick up a lot more red than it actually is. Like, it's more like a, like, not that red, it's more like a sandy red. But this figure is just, whoa. <laughs> I love this thing so much. I love the details on it, I love the articulation. I love that it's a model kit. I absolutely loved the experience of building this thing. Just taking all these parts and combining it and just seeing this badass figure just slowly assemble before my eyes. It's amazing. Yeah, I certainly want to get more model kits. This is only my third. So that's number seven. Then number six is the, uh, I believe this was number six, the Combiner Wars Ultra Magnus. Because this thing is fantastic. It's really got no flaws to it besides the fact that it's kind of lightweight and the plastic's kind of cheap. But uh, I love the paint. I love the sculpt. Like, look at that head sculpt, man. That is, if you're a fan of Transformers, this is Ultra Magnus. Boom. This thing is just so fantastic. I love the alt mode. I love the transformation. I love the stature this figure has. It's just so fantastic. So that is number six. Then number five goes to my boy and yours. Black Series Kylo Ren. I know, I kind of hate that it's just number five, but there's just four other figures that I like so much more than this thing. Not saying that I dislike this at all. This figure's freaking great. I love how the hood sits. I love the sculpt. I love the articulation. It's just so perfect. And uh, it, this was Comic Figure Blog's number one. Uh, and my number one is also uh, something kind of similar to this. But yeah, this, this figure's just fantastic. I love it. <laughs> Uh, so getting on to number four, number four, yeah, number four, it is the Hasbro Star Wars, the Black Series, three and three quarter inch Walmart exclusive Stormtrooper, because this thing is amazing. I love it. It's my favorite three and three quarter inch figure I got this whole year. It's fantastic. I love the articulation, the detail, you, you, you know the ropes. This thing is just so fantastic. Uh, I, I can't get over how much I like this thing. I wish I could get more, but this thing is so hard to come by. I feel like I probably never will. So that was number four. Number three, this kind of pains me that it's just number three, but there were two other figures I just liked so much more than this. Black Series Cody. Need I say more? <laughs> this figure is just fantastic. I love the articulation, the detail, the sculpts, like I've said with everything else. Uh, yeah, this thing is just, I, I love it. It's, it's probably my second favorite Cody figure I own. Of course, my first favorite being the Sideshow, but... Oh, oh my god, I love this thing. So that is number three. Number two, I just got recently, and it just blows my mind. So, and it's really funny. This might actually be controversial for people who collect Transformers, because a lot of people don't like this figure. A lot of people think it's absolute garbage, but I love it. Brawl is my second favorite Decepticon, and his Combiner Wars figure just blows my mind. I, I love it. I love everything about it. I love his legs. I love his tank mode. I love how his arms pose. I love how he poses. I love that he has the little port in his butt so you can actually put him in a base. This thing is just fantastic. I can't get over how much I like it. I'm looking at the sculpt on it. It's just, it's Brawl. This is Brawl. No denying it. This is Brawl. Um, I don't really have any complaints with it. Uh, a lot of people do complain about the, the waist, saying, like, this is actually the default transformation for the waist. Look at that. That looks actually pretty bad. And a lot of people say theirs doesn't hold together, but mine holds together, and I'm fine if you just take his waist and just move it up a little bit. I think that looks great. It reminds me even more of the G1 figure, which I actually do own. And I just love this thing. I mean, when I want to mess with the Transformer, I mess with this. This is my favorite Transformer of this year. I love it. It's so fantastic. And I'm so happy to finally have a Classics Brawl. Now on to number one. I love this figure so much, I have five versions of it. Um, three of them are the exact same figure. One of them is uh, your friend and mine, the traitor hunting scumbag. Um, actually, he's not a scumbag, he's a hero. And this is the one I'm highlighting. My number one favorite figure of 2015 is the Hasbro Star Wars of the Black Series First Order Stormtrooper. What can I say? I love it. Uh, <laughs> it does have... Pretty much just one problem, and that's the elbow articulation. But there is a mod for it where you can just cut like some of the elbow, and you get a lot more. I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't think I want to because I'm fine with the way this figure really is by default. Ugh. 
I don't really regret buying so much of it. I mean, I got I got a fair amount on sale. So, yeah, th this figure is just fantastic. I love it. So, going on a bit of a recap, my number one is the First Order Stormtrooper. My number two is the Combiner Wars Brawl. My number three is the Black Series Commander Cody. My number four is the Black Series 3, three through quarter inch Stormtrooper. My number five is Kylo Ren. My number six, Ultra Magnus. My number seven, Char Zaku. My number eight, Legend Shockwave. Number nine, Icons Batman. Number 10, Hulk Buster. So that is my list of my top 10 favorite figures of 2015. I really want to know your top 10. Uh, I would do a top 10 least favorite, but I certainly did not get 10 that are worthy of it. What I think I might do, because this is New Year's Eve, on New Year's Day, I'll try to post like a top three least favorite figures, because I didn't really get a lot that I disliked. This was a great year for collecting. So I think it's pretty much it. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and may the Force be with you. Bye. But if we're talking the favorite thing we got that wasn't even released in the year, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.